Welcome everybody to another build video of mine. This is my so-called uh, pew 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 build. I like to pew pew and this is basically really pew pew. It's a one shot build. I think many people made a uh, video about it already, but people ask me on Twitch. So I make this here so you can have a look at it, which I use here. So it's basically one time the providence for the 20% uh, headshot damage as a bonus. Um, and you push like headshot damage and weapon handling everywhere. You don't need crit damage chance, you don't need crit damage. Uh, don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. I like the weapon handling because I use the white death. And the white death has a really high recoil kick if you shoot that weapon. It goes up to the right and sinks down. So you get out of focus on your enemy very easily. That's why using weapon handling here is really, really important. And I like it a lot. Um, let's see here. So you're not... Iraldi, obviously, uh, again, for marksman rifle damage, you could use a second part here for headshot damage. But to be honest, I like the uh, Walk and Harris a bit more because it gives you another 5% weapon damage. And weapon damage on the base of the weapon is always better than everything that comes after, which is like a multiplicator on the weapon damage. So when you get the weapon damage higher, it's better than anything else. And again, weapon handling, headshot damage. You want headshot damage and weapon handling anywhere. Also for the mods, always headshot damage. So Iraldi, Providence and Walk and Harris and then three times Aces and Aids. You don't need the four. The force buff is okay but it's not that powerful anymore. They nerfed it down to the ground. So what we're aiming here is for the 15% marksman rifle damage and the 30% headshot damage and that's it. Um, for the weapon I use a Nemesis. That's mainly the, the weapon I use for the first shot. Um, first shot always a Nemesis. Aim for a red or a purple uh, if you play solo, you can also kill a yellow one on Heroic easily with the first shot. Uh, but if you play in a group, the scaling doesn't make it effective anymore. So if you're in a, in a group, tell your group players to aim for dogs, uh, mini tanks, all the stuff that you basically can kill with one shot. Also for the heavies, tell them if there's a heavy on a legendary mission, for example, tell them to shoot at the head so they pop the helmet for you. And then you can kill them easily with one shot. No problem at all. Um, or the offhand weapon, I use the white death and use lucky shot because you don't want to aim for anything else than the head. Um, the buff uh, for the one shot build here for the aces and aids and all that stuff here for headhunter for the chest which we use here, Walker and Harris. Perfect headhunter, yeah, so it's the name on the chain killer. After killing an enemy with a headshot, your next weapon hit within 30 seconds deals an additional 150% of that killing blows damage. So. Whenever you kill an enemy, you get 150%. And you can have two stacks here. Damage is kept to 800% of your weapon damage. This is raised to two, 1250 if your headshot damage is greater than 150, which we are easily above. So this is what makes this uh, build viable here for the one shot, the headshot. But you have to shoot consecutive headshots. Don't hit an enemy anywhere else. And that is why we use a lucky shot on the weapon here, on this one, because Aim for the head. If you miss it, nothing happens. You will not lose your buff uh, on the Walker and Harris or for the chain killer. But if you hit the body, the buff is gone. And you have to shoot another enemy then to get the buff again on the head. So basically, shoot another red or purple in the head. Oh, shut up, Handy. I'm sorry about that. So you always want to shoot one enemy uh, first, like a red or a purple, so you get the buff for it. And I don't like the people use the, the scope here for like from the sniper, which is this one here, which gives you another headshot damage, whatever, 45%, but you don't need it. If you have the chain killer buff up, which you get from the nemesis shot, you can use any other scope here. So I use weapon handling here again for this one. Um, because I don't like that scope. I like a scope where I can see something around me and the headshot, like the scope from the sniper is I don't like it. I really don't like it. I don't, I don't like that view of that thingy. Um, people tend to use it. You can use it if you like it. You don't need to use this one here. I just want to have a little bit more of a view when I am down the side. And basically that's it here for this one. I can show you the stats real quick. So we have, yeah, crit chance is not even an option for us here. We have 300.6 almost on headshot damage, which will then be increased if you get the change killer buff up and Everything is one shot after that. Shoot a red, shoot a purple, and whatever comes at you will be a one shot. Just don't the heavies on legendary because they have that helmet. And the helmet takes more than one shot because you don't have headshot damage on the helmet. So 
break the helmet and then go for the head and you can kill them easily so if the group players of yours uh pop your helmet for you perfect perfect and they have to shoot down the dogs and the mini tanks uh like i said 306 percent here on um, headshot damage uh, the accuracy is 54 percent stability accuracy so basically this comes from the weapon handling and that was making the weapon the white death a bit more stable it also works for the nemesis but the nemesis doesn't need that much as it can. So 54.5% marksman rifle damage. And don't forget with the nemesis, you have to load the shot basically. You have to charge it. So whenever I can show you. This video uh, is a bit longer than I needed or I expected it to be. So you want to go for the nemesis. Like hold down the button to charge. You can see the circle around the aiming spot here. And if it's fully charged, you let go. And then after that, everything is one shot like could even use then after this one here can use a white death and just pew pew everything down here it's all one shot everything is one shot even yellows no problem just keep in mind that you have to like shoot inside here so there's a yellow yeah that's heroic here by the way so nothing special it's just pew pew and you see that kick here on the weapon that it goes to the right yeah you see that like let's show you on target where we have two behind each other see here there you can see it i hold here i shoot and it goes to the right side and your aim is off the enemy yeah so this is a kick here and with without weapon handling the kick would be somewhere around here so it's a really high kick on that weapon so just refocus everything i shot here people tend to like shake the mouse a little bit cover it like so it doesn't move that much but it's basically just oh i missed that shot i'm sorry but everything dies with one shot even big boys on legendary no legendary no problem everything is single shot okay then uh this is my pew pew build i hope you like it uh leave a comment if you do so if you don't like it leave a comment anyway i don't care give me a thumbs up thumb down no matter what um i don't care about this stuff i just wanted to show the build because people asked for it i wish you all have a great day bye and see you in the next one